hotspots in FrameMaker act almost like a cross-reference in reverse. Normally, we would click somewhere on some text and jump to a graphic with an actual cross-reference. In this case, a graphic will jump us to text. Notice that I've got a white triangle here over the elephant. And what I want you to notice is that as I move, I'm, I'm inside of a PDF file that I just generated from a FrameMaker document. Notice as I place my cursor over the white triangle and click on it, it automatically jumps me over to the text with the elephants. And you can actually create um, hotspots that will jump to any related text based on where you place a marker. Swiftly, let's look at FrameMaker and see how this was accomplished. First of all, if I go ahead and actually select the triangle, I can find out what it's linked to by going into graphics and looking at hotspot properties. We see that there's a destination marker of elephants. Let's find out what kind of marker that is. If we go to the marker pods, we see that there's only one marker called hypertext labeled elephants. As we go ahead and double click on that, it will take us over there and notice that it says new link elephants. We'd like to go ahead and create another destination so that we can actually go create a link to it from a different graphic. And you'll see here that I've got some text that says all about typewriters. I'd like to insert a link right here and this will show you the exact mechanism we used to create that hotspot. I'm simply going to type in new link typewriters, there we go, and voila we've got a destination link that wasn't there before. Now the final step is very very easy. Um, all you have to do is make sure that before you draw a graphic object you specify that it's going to be a hotspot. We do that by moving over here to our drawing tools and you notice down at the bottom there is a new item that's only available in FrameMaker 11. Um, there's no equivalent to this functionality in Microsoft Word. So I simply click on hotspot mode. That means that anything that I draw is going to have a hotspot and it's going to prompt me for a destination. I'd like to create something kind of like a rounded rectangle over the keyboard because maybe that's what I'd like the person to click on. And as I do this, notice that a hotspot destination menu pops up. There is that um, uh, marker that we didn't have before and I simply save it. And that's all there is to it. If I were to save this file to PDF, we would find that clicking on that round uh, red rectangle would immediately jump us over to the typewriter area. So this is just one more example of how FrameMaker makes your documents more useful and versatile by allowing you to link hotspots between graphics and related text.